type of shit we're doing is like not the basic, you know, rap shit, you know, the background of rap, but it's like the psychology behind the rappers. You know, what makes you tick, what made you decide to do this, all the other shit you did, all the shit you've been through, your, you know, personal life, your family, like whatever you want to talk about. So, uh, I guess first we get into like, you're a hustler for real, you know what I mean? You got DJ, you know, uh, artist, uh, underground sign, uh, teeth, you know what I mean? Like what the fuck else can you do, you know? So so what is it about your personality that makes you do that? Man, he just coming from poverty, you know what I'm saying? A single mother, single parent household, you know what I'm saying? My, my biological father was dope on heroin and crack and shit, cocaine. So, you know, my mom was always real spiritual. She just always used to just motivate me and tell me to go out there and get up off my lazy ass, you know what I'm saying? And she always tell me to get up off my ass. And being lazy, you know, you, you got to work if you want to make it out here. But not like in a scolding type of manner. She wouldn't tell me that, like scolding me. She telling me that to like inspire me. Like she, she would, you know, point out other people who in other situations who made it out because they put in hard work, you know, just comparing me to them. And just kept telling me, man, as long as you work hard, whatever I do, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, rapping, or, or selling jewelry or whatever, you know what I'm saying, making DVDs, anything I do, if it's DJing, whatever I want to do, if I work hard enough at it, and I can turn it into a hustle and make some money off of it, hard I work, no money I'm gonna get. I'm posted up in the cut, low top with some tinted up shades, about 20 thugs deep, strapped glocks and K's, it's some marks in the closet playing hide and seek, but out here the strong surviving, you suckers is weak, you know I'm slow lining, banging on the feet of road, swinging on the grind, while these whiners on the sidelines complaining, we click tight. With a team didn't make headlines and make your heart flatline If you get out of line, I hear these suckers on the sidelines under their breath But if you plex and speak up and get it out for your chest But don't test unless you want the drama brought to your nest Where well, your mama and your sister in the all black dress Yeah, but drag a little, you a little yeah. too fast but at the same time, like, you know, I used to play basketball, too. I used to like playing basketball. But, you know, it's like you got you to gotta look at the reality of, you know, what the odds are against you. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the odds were against me that I would be successful in music as well. But I had a lot better odds in music because, you know, it wasn't so many people rapping at the time or DJing at the time. You know, basketball something everybody did. Everybody played basketball. In the rapping, too, everybody rapped. But, you know, just at the same time, you know, it was easier for me in the rap because I shined more in the rap. The reality of it, dude, you know what I'm saying? Only, you know what I'm saying, 50 or so people a year make it into the NBA. But anybody can be a rapper and make money off of it. And that's what I really learned. Michael Watchman he taught me that is that, you know, making money off of rapping is it, it, up to me to sell the CDs. And even now that I'm on a, a national level, it's still up to me to sell the CDs. Every interview I do, every song I do on the, on the early stages, though, he taught me that, you know, I can be out as successful as I want to be, you know, and, and make as much money as I want to. And I'll make like two or three dollars off the CD. Then, you know, when I started, you know, pressing them up and treating them on my own, I'm making, you know, five, seven dollars off, eight dollars off every CD. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just all about. You know, the more I hustle, the more money I make, you know what I'm saying? And the longer I stay out there at the mall or at the University of Houston at Prairie View, if I stay out there all weekend, you know? And, and really, you know, and sometimes, you know, it wasn't even the CD they was buying. They was buying the CD because of my personality or because I sold it to them in such a good way. I had them feeling like they was winning by buying the CD, but really, I was winning because I was walking home with their money, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we kind of mutual because I wouldn't tell them no bullshit. And that's one thing I really built my reputation up for is that you know, I was out there selling CDs and hustling music. I wasn't just serving them no bullshit, so they spent their money. They knew what they was going to get. They knew they was going to get some good quality music. So let's go ahead and tour you. Oh, shit. It's straight with me. Hey, the, the other one we did? Did he change the beat too? You said all on the head? Nah, who, who are all on the song? Just me and you? Or? <coughs> just me and me. You had two verses. Like, so it was an open verse too? We got, me and you did the third verse, but if you want to delete oh. the third verse. Nah. Yeah, can you bring me and copy that? Yeah, with the, uh. Because it'd be a lot of people hitting me up about shit for video games and shit. And all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like movie soundtracks, shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, just that whole hustling mentality was just something my mom was doing inside me. 
just instilled in me that she be married. And I got my, my stepdad taught me that too. He had a lot of different business ventures and you know, some of them jumped off, some of them didn't jump off. You know, he just taught me that I had to have my hand in a lot of different areas because you never know. You never know which one gonna pop off, you know what I'm saying? And it's, just, it's just in me to hustle. It's just in me to out there put in work and just to make that money. And then, you know, some of my other homeboys hustled that was around me. My older homeboy who might have went through certain situations, certain trials and tribulations, you know what I'm saying? They taught me what they went through, you know what I'm saying? They showed me, you know, what, what they did and what they did wrong, what they did right, what they should have did. So, you know, now from that point on, as I grow, it's just in my life and I start seeing myself in those same situations that they were in, I can say, well, damn, my boy said he should have did this, so let me do this, you know what I'm saying? Because he did that, and he did that, and it ain't work out right, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, basically just, you know, watching the trials and tribulations of my older homeboys around me, you know what I'm saying, over hustling in the game, and then and me trying to come up just hustling anywhere I could, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of compared it to them and just, you know, took the ride I took and just started making money off of it, hustling, putting in the work. Next thing you know, you know, a few years later, it go from being a hobby to being a hustler and making money, for real.